Well now I'm going uptown with my hat in my hand Looking for a woman, ain't got no man Might as well be looking for a needle in the sand Cause I'm looking for a woman, ain't got no man Oh right, right mama All right Do that ring. If you got a woman, you better get two. One for your buddy and the other for you. I got me a wife and a sweetheart too. Well, the wife don't know what the sweetheart do. All right, rag mama. All right, rag. Do that rag. Rag Mama, sometimes called Rag Mama Rag or Rag Mama Blues. It's an old blues tune, a Blind Boy Fuller tune, uh, kind of a raggy blues. I first learned this uh, tune on the guitar with a strong alternating thumb technique. So this is not a typical bluegrass sound, all right? This is more of a bluesy sound, raggy sound, with kind of a guitaristic approach with the alternating thumb. And this is also a, a typical uh, 1625 type of tune, ragtime progression in the key of G. Now I'm capoed at the fourth fret just for my singing voice. We're gonna we're gonna take that capo off and we'll do this in the key of G. Take this little guy off too. And we'll just do it with the open banjo in the key of G. One, six, two, five in the key of G. Remember the, the G major scale goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So one, six, two, five would be G, an E, A, and D. And we're gonna, we're gonna use a D7. One other thing about a lot of these old ragtime tunes, you know, the 1, 4, and 5 chords are major in the key signature. 2, 3, and 6 are minor in the key signature. Well, in these tunes, a lot of times, everything is major. Okay, so in this case, the uh, they're all going to be major chords. Pretty simple chords we're going we're gonna to play. For G, it's going to be the open banjo. For the E... Kind of an open E chord here. Looks, looks like a C, actually, except you move your index finger over to the third string. For that E. A, just a little bar at the uh, second fret. And we're going to reach up with the pinky. And D is our typical D7. So, you know those chords. Those are some pretty easy chords. Probably the only tricky part of this is keeping that alternating thumb going for a nice solid bass and then playing it up to tempo, playing it quick enough, making those changes quick enough so that it sounds good. This is an eight bar tune, eight bars in the verse, eight bars in the chorus, and we play two bars for each chord change. So it's pretty logical structure to it. Let's take a look at this together. In the tab, you'll notice we've got a pickup measure here. Well, now I'm... And then we go into that E. In fact, let's just... If you can get this little pick down, this is probably one of the most important things in the song. 
Let me zoom in on my right hand, and we'll just kind of practice that alternating thumb pick a little bit together. Looking at the tab, you'll see the thumb pretty much alternates fourth string, third string throughout. And then we're going to add some notes and some pinches in there to that thumb. Look at measure one, which is the second measure in the tab. We're holding an E chord there, and we've got thumb is going. Now, what do we do on top of that? Well, we got one pinch on two, one, two, three, and four. So you'd count that first measure, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And you notice we're, we're holding this E, but we simply lift our ring finger off of the first string and then put it back on. So on beat three, we're, we're playing the open first string, and then we add that uh, ring finger back on the second fret. Let's just wrap that one around a few times, nice and slow. If you can do this pick, then you'll be in good shape for this entire song. Here we go. I'm going to count us in one, two, three, four, real slow. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's, I said we we're going to wrap it. Let's wrap this thing around a little bit, a few measures worth. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to slow that down even more. We're going to take it real slow just to get the feel of this alternating thumb and adding some notes in on top of it. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you've got that pick, you're going to be in good shape here. I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, let's take a look at this together, uh, measure by measure. We start out with uh, a little pickup, three note pickup. Well, now I'm... And then we go into that E chord. I'm going to try and sing this in the key of G. It's going to be a little rough. That's why I cape went on the fourth fret for key of C. But uh, if you can bear with my, my singing, we'll, we'll go through this. So we got, well, now I'm going town with my hat in my hand. So there's our little alternating thumb pick. Measure three, we're going to go to a little barred A form, a bar on the second fret. So again, it's one and two and three, four, one and two and three, pinch. Still holding that bar, just put your pinky down on the fifth fret and then take him off. And you'll, you can vary this, I, I probably do as I play it. Uh, Stuck in a little extra note there on the and of three. Measure five, we go to the little D7 form. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and pinch. Measure five, add your uh, ring finger on the first string, second fret, and then take him off. Let's, let's wrap uh, five and six around a little bit. One, two, three, four. Again. Stuck in an extra note or two there. And then measure seven. This is a G lick. Now we're using a couple different G licks in this part the last two uh, measures of the song. 
and you can stick in any kind of a G like here. I've got a couple alternate ones I'm going to show you, but this is one that I like to use. One and two. Then back into our bass walk. So we're making a D7 form and walking him up. Back into the, to the E on measure 9. So that's the same. Go to the A. D7. That's the same too. Now, here's another little G lick to stick in here. So I'm making this chord form. First string, fifth fret. Second string, seventh fret. Starting with the fifth string. Kind of a forward reverse roll here. And then take him off. Fret the the third string, third fret, we're going to introduce a little bit of tension here that we want to resolve. Hear the tension there? That's a half step tension. Then we go back into that E again. So this is G lick number two, I'm calling it. Notice when you do this, you're coming back to that second string with the index finger. Thumb, index, middle, back to the index, and thumb. And then back into the song. Here we go, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. come to measure 7 and 8 or measures 15 and 16, the last two measures each time in this 8 bar form, we can stick in a, a different G lick. I've got a couple more tabbed out for you. G lick 3 and G lick 4. Pretty similar but just a little variation. All right. Again, D7 form starting here on the 3rd fret. Forward roll. And notice there's probably a little bit of accent going on here. And then we go into our bass walk. Play that with me a little bit. One, two, three, four. time. One, two, three, four. G lick number four. We're making this little chord form. Uh, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And we take him off. Then our D7 form at the third fret. And we're going to go one and two and three, four. Pinch and, pinch and, pinch. And then we go into our little bass walk again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. Let's do that one together. One, two, three, four. Going in 
into our base walk. One more time. One, two, three, four. All right. That's Rag Mama. We've got uh, pretty simple chord forms, little alternating thumb pick, one, six, two, five for an eight bar form. Some alternate G licks you can throw in. And again, once you're familiar with this tune and you feel good about it and you can play it up to speed, go ahead and try some other G licks. See what you can stick in there that sounds good. You'll probably find some single note runs and stuff like that that'll work very well. So you can have all kinds of variety on this simple little raggy tune. Rag Mama by Blind Boy Fuller.